Welcome back to my Read You Inspired Home. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some different provocations that I've set up for my sons which are designed to spark an interest and to inspire them to play and to learn. I specifically set up these provocations in the morning so when they come down first thing in the morning they see the provocations and they are able to play with them, learn, do all the things with them right first thing in the morning and it gives me also a little bit of breathing space in the morning because I know they are going to be engaged right at the start. So the following provocations that you're going to see were filmed over about a week or so. I don't necessarily set out fresh provocations every single morning. Sometimes I reuse the same ones and sometimes I use, I don't, don't have provocations if we're going out or something like that. So these provocations are set up usually, just to give you a little bit of context, they're set up first thing in the morning and they'll be out for at least two-ish hours in the morning and where they will be engaged with. If they are then no longer engaging with the materials, I will generally put them away and potentially bring them out the next day or put a different one out the next day. So that's just a little bit of context for you around the provocations and let's just get straight into it. Okay, I've just set up the provocations for tomorrow. We'll start over here in our little table area. Here I have a shelf that I haven't used today, but I've put two pieces of card here and then I've got glue sticks in here are bottle caps um, and buttons and also sparkly 3D sequins. Over here, I've got paper scraps. So these are bits of paper that have been cut for other projects and I've just clipped all the scraps and put them in there. So this is a little crafting station we have over here. Then down here, we have a little basket. This is actually a rocket puzzle. As you can see, it's got numbers on one side. It's got numbers on one side and on the other side it has letters and it does turn into a rocket once you build the letters, put the letters and the numbers all together properly. But my youngest son absolutely loves just taking these and connecting them any old how, just however he feels like it and making cool patterns. So he'll probably use it like that and then my older son might do the puzzle. So I've got that there. And then up here, I've very simply got Duplo set up. There's a box of Duplo here. And I've just put a few pieces on here because sometimes it can be quite hard to get started when you've got a blank canvas, as it were. So I've put a few pieces here just to get them started. And then I've not really set anything up over here. Sometimes we have things over here. I've just got this game that he's really enjoying right now. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. And a book. Then going over up here, the last provocation I have for tomorrow is one for my older son. So I'll probably pop this away until my older son wakes up because he does usually wake up after my younger son. But my older son loves, loves sensory play. So this thing of rice has been going around for quite a while now. We've had it for quite a few months. So it's got glitter in it and all sorts of things. And I've just popped a sieve here and some little glass stones and then a funnel, which he likes to experiment with the rice and the, which one goes through, which one doesn't. He really enjoys experimenting with that, so I've set that up for him again. So those are the provocations I have set up for tomorrow. Very simple, took me very little time to actually set it up and we'll see how we get on with that. So here are the provocations that I've set up for tomorrow. Over here and here, I've got a dramatic play centre, 
which I will share with you another time, but not in this video. So down here, first of all, they really enjoyed the rocket puzzle that we did yesterday. So I've just switched, sw uh, swapped it out for a similar puzzle. This one is a whale one and it's just got numbers on it. Then moving over here, we have bean bags. Bean bags, we love bean bags. They're really great open-ended play item. They can throw them, they can use them to make little beds, they can put them on their heads, they can use them for all different kinds of things. Got two little people and a little play silk as well. And then moving up to here, they were not really interested in the sticking provocation I had yesterday. They weren't too interested in that really. They like the sticking part, not so much the attaching things part. So I've got something here which I know will be a hit because my kids love tape. They love masking tape. We have loads of masking tape. So I've got a big one here and then lots of little ones here and just some chips. So that's that provocation there. So if I pan around, we've got three very, very simple provocations set up for tomorrow. Here is the first provocation set up for tomorrow. My children love kinetic sand, so we have a bag of kinetic sand here and a little a jar of glass beads. Not very many, but they can always get more from the atelier if they need to. And we've also got some little shapes for the kinetic sand as well. Then moving down here, I have the magnetiles out. I've just made a little road, I guess, with the magnetiles. And then got a bunch of cars and vehicles set up and they can just do whatever they want with that. There's a extra pile of magnetiles over there. And then here, there are little lids, just a variety of lids. So they can do whatever they want with that and create a little scene or roads or whatever they want. And then the last very, very simple provocation we have is over here. And all it is, is this full of scraps of paper and a stapler. So, those are the provocations for tomorrow. Mm. What did you make, Sammy? Mommy, this is a shed. A shed?
hope you enjoyed seeing those provocations. They were really fun for the kids this week. They especially enjoyed the final provocations that you saw with the kinetic sand and the magma tails and everything. They thought that was really fun and they really engaged with it and learned a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.